What is up? It's Chris, the Midwest Bass Hunter, and we're going to look at the secret bait box for November. So it is November, it is getting cold, um, I'm going to have ice on the lakes really soon here, so um, pretty quick I'm not going to be out bass fishing, uh, certainly not on my kayak here before too long. But I am going to still stock up on baits. So this month I, uh, I checked out the Premier Box, Premier Box. So uh, last month I opened a secret bait box and uh, I'll put a link up here to that. That was the standard box. This is the Premier box. It's a little different. It's got um, a little bit higher end stuff, and it has some baits that are new. You know, they're they're new uh, new release baits. So um, should be some cool stuff in here. Uh, before before I get started here, um, this box is I think it's it's twenty nine bucks. And if you order if you subscribe for a year. You know they have different subscription plans it, you know you get a discount along the way i think if you subscribe for a whole year it's like uh 25 bucks or 24 bucks or something so so there's a, a little card in here with all the baits on it and let's see it's got one two three four five six seven baits uh seven different baits and it does have two new baits it says right there they're new release baits all right, so <laughs> right off the bat, there's some beef jerky in here. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Lunker Jack's Jerky Minnesota Nice. So the, the secret bait box is, is a company uh, out of Minnesota. So this is uh, some Minnesota beef jerky. So it's kind of a, a little sample pack here. So that's cool. Got a snack for the water today. Uh, all right, we've got a little koozie in there. Secret bait box koozie. I'll put my rock star in there. All right, now to the good stuff, the baits. All right, first of all, we got the Alunker Hunt Poppin' Bug. And this is one of the ones that says is a new release. Alunker uh, Hunt. Alunker Hunt makes good stuff, we all know that. Um, let's check this thing out and see what we got here. So this is like a top water bait, kind of like a, a, poppin', a popper. Or a popping frog, but it's a little different. So it's not a hollow body. It's a it's a soft plastic bait, and it comes with a hook, a wide gap, extra wide gap hook. I'm not going to rig it because I'm not going to use it today. It's not really top water frog and popping time. Well, maybe maybe catch them on a popper, but you kind of hook it like that. Hmm interesting I wonder how long this baby will last I've had some other baits uh, Strike King made one called the King Rat and it worked great I mean I caught fish on it but after about five fish it was toast but I don't know this one's a little different the King Rat's really narrow at the nose so it got tore up real quick but this is a lot bigger so uh, maybe it wouldn't we'll have to try that probably save that baby for uh, spawning time the next one we got is also from Lunker Hunt, and it's called the Reactor, Lunker Hunt Reactor Impact Series. And this is like a lipless crankbait, says sinks, it's got a tight wobble, uh, just like a, a rattle trap or a lipless crankbait. It's called the Silverside color, and actually this color might work really well where I'm at today, I might use this thing. Uh, it's a half ounce and two and a half inches long. And this is also one of the new release baits. got kind of two knockers in it. It's got some BBs and then it has, oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that in there. There's like a big chunk of lead or something, big weight, and it can go back and forth. Now, I don't know how much that's going to rattle while it's in motion. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to rattle. So kind of two different, two different sounds there. I like that. I like that it's kind of a smaller bait, but still weighs a half ounce. Got some decent hooks on it. I don't know what Lunker Hunt uses for hooks. Anybody know what Lunker Hunt uses for hooks? Does not say, but it does say that you will get cancer in California if you use this. 
All right, so we might tie that baby on later here. All right, let's see what we got next. All right, we got some Nico skirts. And I am not gonna take these out of the package, but basically it's for nail weighting a worm. You put it in the end of the worm like shown, and then you got a little skirt on the front of it there just to add a little bit more action there. Mm, doesn't say what they weigh. I'm sure they don't weigh very much though. There you go, some uh, Nico skirts. All right, next thing, and this is one of my, I'm, this is one of my, becoming one of my uh, favorite lures, or favorite ways to fish soft plastic here, the Tokyo rig. It's a flipping hook, so it's a straight shank hook. It's not a wide gap or a, or a EWG style. And these are just great. I, I love fishing with this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a heavy duty drop shot with a shorter, you know, a shorter dropper on it. You can see that um, that's a three odd size. So there's your dropper. There's where you tie your line. And then you put a weight on the bottom of here and you bend this wire over. So you got like a little drop shot, short little drop shot. And uh, it works really good in a lot of different situations. It works good for punching. It works good uh, just fishing around cover and open water. Works great. And this is the straight straight shank hook style. It's got a nice hook keeper or a bait keeper on there. Keep your bait on there. So I'm loving these things. All right, uh, old bait fishing lures. Uh, this is a juke minnow, four inch juke minnow in pearl color. And Obey, that's the, the, the company that uh, Outlet Bait and Tackle that, that makes the, the secret bait boxes of their, their soft plastic line of baits. That's a nice little uh, nice little finesse fluke. You could u do this, use this thing a lot of ways. You could drop shot with this. You could fish it uh, on a wide gap hook on a, on a spinning rod. Uh, it's pretty small, so it's, it's not, you're not going to be able to throw that on a bait caster too well. Or you could use this, probably the way I would use this most would be a trailer on a chatterbait, um, or even a spinnerbait or buzzbait. This would be a, a killer little trailer, definitely. It's got a fork tail, a little bit of extra action. But what the reason I like these kind of straight tail baits on a chatterbait is because you get you get that shad profile on the bait, uh, but you don't you don't really upset the at the action of the chatterbait of the blade on the bladed jig. Whereas uh, if you put a paddle tail on there, or a twister tail, or something that has a lot of action, then it kind of takes away from the action of the chatterbait itself. So I like using this type of uh, type of bait for a trailer. And this is a 10 pack, 10 pack of those. They got a little garlic smell to them. Or maybe it's not garlic, uh, what do you call that stuff? Like black licorice, smells like black licorice. All right, the next thing we've got is uh, Power Team Lures. I've never used anything from Power Team. Uh, this is a three and a half inch, it's called a food chain tube. It's got this in here. Uh, some little scent, it says hog tonic. Hog tonic on it there, so. I don't know what that is. A little uh, attractant. So this tube is a little different. It kind of looks, it kind of has these little appendages like a, like a hog style bait. Uh, I do like this color, this would be good in the springtime. When the, when the bass are eating crawdads, it's got that red kind of crawdad, red orange crawdad color. So that'd be a good, excellent bait for that, for the springtime when they're eating those crawdads. And probably even in the fall too. I like that. I like that bait a lot. That is a, uh, called Delta Destroyer is the color. Uh, it's an eight pack, a bunch of them in there. All right, down to the last bait. And it's a good one, a Rapala Repol DT4. So Rapala makes some dang good crankbaits, and I believe this is a, a balsa bait. The color is Smash. It's a, it dives to four feet, and it is five sixteenths of an ounce. So it's kind of a smaller bait. It's definitely a balsa bait. It's a wood bait. So it's silent. Oh no, it's not silent. So maybe it's not a balsa bait. 
No, it's plastic. It's a plastic bait, it's not balsa. It's got a rattle inside. Rapala uses VMC hooks, good hooks. I like that bait, that's a good bait. And I like that color too. So they call it, they call it smash is the color. So I don't know what that's supposed to be, so. All right, guys, there we go. That is the Secret Bait Box premiere for November. Hey, um, I do have a code. Bass Hunter is the code, and that gets you uh, your first standard box for $10. So check that out, guys. If you're new to my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell down there so you don't miss anything. Uh, I really appreciate you watching today. I'm going to go out here and, and fish this pond. This is a new, uh, new place for me. I haven't been here, so I'm going to try it out and see if I can find something. Until next time, guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you later.